Do you know that by 2050, there would be more plastic in the ocean by weight than the fish? So that, we were tackling that, basically. So I observed that when, we, when I went to an ice cream shop, 10 minutes of eating an ice cream is causing hundreds of years of plastic footprint in the oceans or in the landfills. So our goal, simple, replace all plastic cutlery with edible cutlery. So our product is basically, as you can see, the edible spoon, and it stays firm for like 25 minutes in hot soups and 45 minutes in an ice cream. It's vegan, non-GM, all natural, and it comes in two shapes and eight flavors. I think it resonates very well with the millennials because I, uh, the knowledge sharing and the information, there's been a lot of talk about plastic pollution, climate, climate change and all this. So I believe the next generations are more aware than us or the previous generations on the impact that our everyday like, actions take. So that, I, think, I believe that it, it would also be a great fit for colleges because people are more aware now. They are more conscious while making, eating the food or making any decision. So I would believe the millennials and the next generations would be a great fit for this product. Frankly, I just started the, my sales and marketing in February of 2019, so that's just a few months ago. But I've been doing pretty well. I'm surprised too. My goal was to sell 50,000 spoons before the end of February 2020, but I sold 250,000 already. The biggest surprise was the cost. So I thought the notion or enhancing the experience of a customer by giving an edible spoon uh, gives a twofold advantage to a shop or a customer, like to a shop or a retail shop. Uh, it, it provides an eco friendly value add and it also gives you, um, like, uh, what do you call it? A, a new way of eating food, which no one would have thought of. Uh, but then when I approached them, they said, like, it's, this is too expensive. This is like 15, 20, 15 to 20 cents. My plastic spoon is three cents, They're like five times, like five to six times more expensive. Uh, I didn't really think that would be a huge uh, hurdle to me because I thought the passion behind it will make it work, but that was my biggest challenge. And we actually fixed the challenge. We asked the customers to charge the end customers a minimum fee. Like, imagine a, top, a topping on your ice cream, right? Like, you paid 50 cents for your topping, so why don't you pay like 30 cents for your edible spoon? So once I pitched that idea, it worked really well, and 90% of my shops and current shops which I have, they are selling it for like another five to three cents, five to ten cents extra. So they're making revenue, eco-friendly value add, and enhancing the experience of the user. We just, it's a family co-founded uh, firm, so it's just me and my wife right now, and I have two sales, uh, sales people who are doing it on part time. Um, and obviously my manufacturing partner, Kruvel, from India. He, uh, the factory is right now is running, right, uh, like as I mentioned, for 50,000 spoons a day, and we have 40 people working in the manufacturing facility. But what I am looking really for is a proper, uh, like a marketing and a sales representative, so who can help us scale to the next level. As an investor, I'm pretty sure you'll be thinking much ahead in the future. So I believe in four to five years from now, everyone would make a very conscious decision whenever they're doing eating an ice cream or eating a soup or whatever, even camping or hiking. Uh, so I believe these are the next generation products, like imagine Beyond Meat and incredible, uh, sorry, impossible, uh, I mean, impossible, right? So no one thought vegan would be a thing like a few years ago. So now they're like huge hit. So I would believe edible cutlery or edible options, which save the planet and also enhance the user experience will be the next big thing. So I would believe that that simple fact would push you to approach me.